activist lawyers, or indeed the Europeans, have won the day. Good evening, Patrick. Well, I guess many of us probably are not that surprised, but it is truly, truly shocking. I mean, let's just evaluate what's happened here. Uh, the uh, We had the High Court approve the deportation flight. We had the Court of Appeal and then the Supreme Court of our great sovereign nation all say the government's plan was legal, lawful and should go ahead. And then from overseas, from f some far flung uh, place, a another court, a European court, a foreign intervention, got no right whatsoever to interfere with this, has essentially stopped this. The truth is, ironically, this actually will suit Priti Patel and Boris Johnson down to the ground uh, because they, it, they can use this as red meat for their base. I put out a tweet this evening, Patrick, there's no question at all, this country should withdraw from the European Court of Human Rights with immediate effect. That is Reform Party policy. And until we do that, we are essentially trapped by a foreign court over which we have uh, no say whatsoever and which is essentially a political court. It's disgraceful. Right. I mean, oh, oh, yeah, obviously as well, it's, it's, it's Boris Johnson there blame, blaming the EU for, for this. And um, I, I mean, I suppose this does, as you alluded to there, essentially maybe lead to a reform party policy becoming mainstream, as it were, because actually now I suppose people are saying, well, hang on a minute, if we want these flights to Rwanda to take off, then we have to get out of some of these European laws and rules and regs, don't we? Yeah, and, and many of us thought that that's what we were achieving with Brexit. But unfortunately, what this has proven is that they just can't help themselves, can they? Okay. They just want to continue to interfere with an independent, proud, sovereign nation. And we shouldn't put up with it any more whatsoever. I would expect uh, Priti Patel or the Prime Minister to make a very, very clear, firm, robust statement. And if they don't, then what does it say about their real intentions, their real commitment to stopping these horrific crossings across the channel, which is what we all want, of course.